Now this is like a Templar beer. It's called Omer. Mer is the word for pyramid. And O, it's like A, the big pyramid. You see the Templar's logo here, the V. And it's got a lot of circles for the compass and the, the concept of three, just like here. Um, Saint Omer is a village, you know, uh, Godefroy de Saint Omer. He was one of the first Templars, of the nine first Templars. I'm here in the south of Flanders, and um, uh, just a little bit south of here, there's Saint Omer, where the, uh, the one of the first nine Templars came from. Even the word here, Concordia, is from concordance. Many Freemason lodges are called like this. In Swiss, German, it's called with a K. So they have this on the ceiling of the Parliament, the KKK. Concordance, compromis, and consent. It means like finding a solution together. Here you see in the logo, you know, there's a Templar V in the M. There's a lot of circles for the compass. I mean, why put a circle here, like, you know, from here? And they know it, of course they know it. Even in the glass there's a lot of Templar V's in it. It's not a very good beer, I think. Huh? So, Saint Omer. So here's a mouse, people. Computer, screen. Hey, look, this is the logo of the mouse here. To the left you see the compass. With a compass you can make a circle. To the right there's the square, 90 degrees. So it says square and compass, and the whole thing looks like a G, because the concept of 4 for the square, and the concept of 3 for the compass, it makes all together 7. And the G is the 7th letter in the alphabet. Hey? Everything belongs to our masters, people. The Freemasons, and they come out of the aristocracy, out of the Templars, and... Hey? You dumb slaves. Hey, look. What do you think this represents the logo, eh? It's a house and it's red and white, eh? The red and the white house. The white house is very solid, you know, completely having control. It's the New World's Order. This one is not solid. How many are there? Five. Well, all together. Uh, ten. Yeah, well, the, the black probably represents the blue, you know. It will have a lot of war, internal strife, that what it means, that's why there's the lines is not completely solid and filled up. It was not a good system, it was like they got holes in it, like here. The new world order, the red is the old world order, the, the white is the new world order, it's completely solid. No chance, eh? that's what it means. This is interesting here, this thing here is from the Arc de Triomphe by Napoleon in... Uh, in Paris. The, uh, the big thing where, you know, the president, he celebrates the, um, the armistice like a couple of days back, right? And some yellow jacket, he, he took it from there, you know, around the fire. The fire is, uh, well, probably Lucifer, right? just like the Statue of Liberty, Illuminati, it's the light, the light bearer, the fire. In the middle is the fire of this Arc de Triomphe, a Roman sort of thing, you know, it's the same, it's the same function as a obelisk. The Arc de Triomphe is the, um, the, um, the Arch of Triumph. As the Romans, everywhere they conquer, they, they, they put one of these things, just like the pharaohs put the obelisk, you know. It's probably easier to put an Arc de Triomphe because it's big, it holds, you know. So, this is what the president opens, and then he lays some flowers there, you know, at the, uh, they call it the grave of the unknown soldier. But they're lying, you know, there is no unknown soldier, eh? They all know them, you know, they're all s the hypocrites, you know. We all being sent, you know, all these soldiers, millions of Europeans who died in all these wars, they were sent... Um, in the front row, the most intelligent ones, you know, so they, they know them, they're not unknown. There's no unknown soldier, only they were completely shot to pieces, that's the only thing, you know. Um, 
considering the word, the unknown soldier. And, um, you know, it looks like uh, hanging up somebody, you know, it's the oval, look at the oval. But anyway, the, um, that's why you do an intelligence test in the army, you know, like, but it's not because they want you to become an officer, because the officers, it's only them, it's the aristocracy, it's Pharaoh, the Templars and all that. Right, we say. So why do they do an intelligence test, you know, to get rid of you, stupid? So there is no unknown soldier. They knew they were the most intelligent ones. They knew their number, you know, their personal slave number. They knew their, their names, where they come from, what village and all of that, you know. But there is no unknown soldier. They knew them all, you know what I mean? And this is from the Arc de Triomphe, the, uh, the, the Arch of Triumph. Hey? Oh. It's not our triumph, hey? it's their triumph. They kill us by the millions to keep the good slaves. That's what it's all about. It's a slave system. Hey? Well, have fun, you dumb slaves. Have fun. So this is from a yellow jacket who was there. And, well, he nicked it. Huh? It's metal. This is metal. This is plastic. <laughs> I mean, it's all, it's all made in China anyway, you know. Yeah, they don't even want, you know, put something expensive or natural or, you know, no, 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 no. It's all made in China, you know, cheap stuff. And then the president comes and all that, you know, and all the guys talking in their microphones and, you know, somebody wants to hang up the president, you know, oh yeah, let's defend the president, you know. Yeah, yeah, the Oval Office, yeah, there you go, the Oval Office. You know, there it is, Arc de Triomphe, you know, the Triumph, the Arc, the Arch of Triumph. You know, here's the Arc, you see, it's from the Greek word, word Arkos, it means to rule. It's also the concept of three for the compass here. You see the arc, like arc-en-ciel in French, it means a rainbow. And there are four pillars. This one is the one in Paris. I should have filmed it for you, but I didn't know it was like near, it was just next to the, uh, to the needle. Yeah, there are four pillars for the concept of four, because we are down there, the people, we are the concept of four. The square, the, the, the lower part of the pyramid, and they are up there ruling over us, you know. And it's the same as the Ark of the Covenant. Joan of Ark, the ruler, Joan. The, uh, fort, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, the ten pharaonic laws, like don't do anything against them, you know. Who come out of the 42 principalities of uh, Ma'at. This is Ma'at. It's all pharaonic. Here's your Ark. You see all these squares in it, eh? Ruling over us. And here in the middle is the, uh, this where um, the President Macron a couple of days back, he did the, um, the armistice um, uh, commemoration, you know, of the, uh, the unknown soldier. Well, they know the bloody soldiers because they're the most intelligent ones. Yeah? It's all a lie. Ark of the Covenant. Arc, Arc, Arc de Triumph, Joan of Arc, Arcos, to rule. A bunch of liars, that's why, that's how they managed to rule over us. And we all follow the women. Birdie Birdie, eh? Birdie Birdie wants a nest, well here's your nest. The nest with, with which they rule over us. And all the men are dead. I'm South African, we survived. Hey, Swiss, hey. So I just filmed my bloody tablet here, my Android. You know, lots of, uh, everywhere. Everywhere you got these bloody things there. They even don't, there are already four in Paris of these. All over France, all over Italy, of course. This is the same thing as the obelisk. The obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination. This is the symbol of the Roman domination. And the elites, they're all the same. They're all pharaonic. Just this is easier, you know. An obelisk, just, it's not that easy, eh, you know. I mean, here you can stand on it and build it up, you know, from down here all the way up. 
No, Berlisk, you know, you have to erect it. You can't stand on it, you know? You have to erect it, eh? We've well, got no Berlisk apparatus, eh? Ark. Yeah, you... we all arced. We all obelisked, eh? Bloody hell. Dumb slaves. So there you got them both, you know? This is the one I filmed for you, right? Oh hey, I can do that again, eh? This is the Pharaonic, symbol of their domination, and just behind it, the Roman symbol of the domination. Why are they next to each other? Because they're all the same. This is like walking through history, eh? You walk from the Pharaohs going, and then you walk to the, to the Romans. You know, and if you walk further, you probably get another one as well, eh? Something Germanic. Not really, but, you know, the Germanic um, pharaonic elite over us, eh? And here was Macron, he was doing the commemoration of the, uh, the armistice. The end of World War I on November the 11th, eh? I didn't even see it when I was there, you know, I was so eager to get away from there, eh? I'm terribly sorry I didn't, but well, anyway, you got it. Uh, you get the picture, right? Okay, this is what they do. They just walk through history. So Macron, he came from here, this one here, at the commemoration, and the you know the the car and all the the agents, and then he, with a couple of you know guys on horses, you know they walked from here and they went to there. It just says in history. It started here, and then there was Persia, and then there was Greece, and then there was the Roman Empire. And after that, you know, you know that's us, yeah? You know, they just walk us through history when they do the commemoration, right? Pharaoh? Well, you know. Now, this is the, 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 all their symbols of victory over the peoples, yeah? This is the symbol of the pharaonic domination, their victory over us. They're not commemorating the war and we dying. No, 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 no. And this is the, um, the symbol of victory of um, the Roman Empire, yeah? It's all about Arcos, to rule over us. That's why we got the Ark of the Covenant, eh? Use your brain. Don't, don't get stuck in the religious hocus-pocus without any proofs, eh? There are no proofs. There's nothing. They're killing us by the millions. That's the proof. It's all here. Here are the proofs. Forget about the religious hocus-pocus, people. We have no more time. It's all the triumph, you know, this, the Ark of Triumph. It means their rule and victory. Ark is to rule, triumph is victory. That's what it's all about. Rule and to be victorious. And these are their symbols throughout history. Dumb slaves, I say it again, eh? Nobody's going to save us. We have to save ourselves, eh? Nobody else will. Follow me, believe me. I'll save you. So here in uh, Montpellier, there is the concept of three. You see these three pillars. And it's like they are eroded through time, you know, here. So that means through all the wars and all the revolutions, they are still here. They are the ones who have been ruling us all the time. Now, to me, it looks like a pile of shit, it does, eh? It has the color as well. Yeah. Can I film you? No. No? Okay. And it is on a roundabout, eh? So there must be the concept of four, but I, I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's that building there, it looks pretty... Yeah, well... I should have walk, should walk around, but I don't see it really. I don't feel like it. You see Montpellier in the flag, it has a big M. For Mason, Master Mason, uh, Malt. Our masters. So I got invited here by a fan of my videos and a pizza thing, very nice, really great guy, intelligent. You see the oval in between, the oval office, yeah? 
This is like Audi, Mastercard, Vesica, Pisces, the main boy are a chain. It's not round, it's a bit like a square, this, but it's the same thing, definitely. It means one for all and all for one. Here the sugar, it got a G on it and a crown, yeah. Same stuff. There on the chairs, you know, it's, it's like got the, the pyramid on the dollar. With the capstone here, the all-seeing eye, and here. You now there is a circle for the compass and there's a square around it for the square and compass. Eh? That's not a coincidence. It's even inside the plastic and all that. Look. I hope you can see that. Yeah. Square inside of and here it's a it's a an oval, you know, here. Yeah. So definitely Mason, you yeah. know. Um, you know, if you've got your own company, you get uh, contacted by the Masons, anyway. I had a nice evening here, nice, really nice. Great guy, English, Birmingham. Yeah, nice. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I better tell you. Look, this one here has the concept of three on the right side and four for the little dot. And here, all together, it's seven seven dots on the uh, Templar's cross and it is uh, divided into three here two here and two here like three two two skull and bones and three the two plus two is four and the three is three so you also have the the concept of three it's all here so I'm here in Montpellier it's all here folks our masters here probably as well. Mm. Even here, it's a thing for children. You're on the motorway. You know, you've got the circles here for the compass. And you got a lot of squares there. All together, you know, like four things here. I mean, why, why put this here? Eh? Why? Okay, this we can understand. Eh? A number. A why number? You know, you already have to get used to numbers. The poor kiddies. So like in a McDonald's or on the motorway here. Yeah? Just came from the other side, from that side. Uh, already showed it to you in Spain, you know. Squares and compasses for the kiddies. Yeah. And then we all have to smile, even here. It's in a square and there's a compass in it. Hey? You're all brainwashed. <laughs>